Welcome back adventurers to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Grand Bridge is finally an ally of ours. We finished the quest line there, I think. And we did also everything that we can do. At least it seems so. There's some things, yeah, that's uh, beyond the border, uh, that I think I haven't looked at, like yeah, these. Uh, random houses and maybe these woods here. What is that? It seems we haven't been here at all. So we can have a look at these things because we are missing one wealth, two mysteries and an artifact. But I think the two mysteries are the Spalda fence, the witch and the Elliston altar. So we found those already, but I don't know what to do with them. I mean, I know what to do with them, but uh, her I couldn't beat yet. And um, I do not know where I can find bull heads. So yeah, there's that. But other than that, we have been quite thorough here, I think. So let's have yeah one last look at, before we leave, at this ruin here that might be something and to do so we can fast travel there uh oh uh oh look at him <laughs> there he goes okay Now I think the other things that we tagged here, did he turn? No. Uh, are of no more importance. I did tag them in the last episode. Ah, that is on the border or maybe beyond the border even. Hmm. Yeah, let's go here and untag Utrecht and untag, that's it. Yeah. So we first go to two, which is there. Where's the rider? Oh, he's not here. Let's not get into trouble here. Ooh. <laughs> oh dang, the weather. There should be a rainbow somewhere. Is there a rainbow in the game? No. Yeah. Hmm, this is a village, isn't it? You look fancy. Wait, that was the mystery. We have been here. Huh. Okay, in that case. Oh, wow. It's an old Roman villa. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> A Venus, most probably. in a fountain can we get in what is this place why is it here we 
can get up there. Hmm. Cannot get in at all. I mean, ah, we can explode. Okay. Maybe we can throw it. Whoa. Careful. Let's see. Oh no! Not even close. How do we get it across? I think that's the actual riddle here. That the explosives are only outside and not inside where we need them. Maybe from the other roof. Can we jump across the columns? No. Mm. What? No. <laughs> we cannot reach it. Let's have a look. No here, no explosives. Can I open a door or something? There's a rem. So maybe... Hmm. This cannot be opened. Maybe we can come in from there yeah that must be the solution okay grab one of these jump on there yeah no oh dang i wanted to walk to the edge so that i have the best angle to jump on the roof let's do it like that no he's not doing it ah he is got it but then i will destroy the statues if I close that. No. I'm dead. Shit! I'm burning. <laughs> okay. It's the artifact. Nice. Means that it's done. That is already the next um, shire. Yeah, it is. Now that's crossed out, that's crossed out. Walden is done. Ravensburg is done. Is that something? Oh, maybe not. Melbourne, Black Peak. I mean, these could be something. But who knows, who knows. I mean, we are only missing one treasure. Could be anywhere. Honestly. Is that ruin? No, that ruin is in... What is that? Oxenfordshire? I think... Hmm. 
We have been to that ruin. Maybe we haven't been to that ruin? That's in Oxenfordshire already. Yeah. So far we are good. Let's go home. Um, we can fast travel right into the hall. Okay, cool. You haven't been here for a while. I think first we should do is upgrade our stuff. What have you got for me today? And I think you we should try and upgrade to access so that we can double X at some point. And the only ones possible, I think, are these. Raider X. Right? Dane X. I don't think we can double wield the Dane Xs. Can we? And uh, dagger, spear, yeah, that's it. Maybe Is upgrade one of want? those. How many? We have seven only. That's not too much. And here we should try the huntsman set. So, which shield do we want to have? This is a wolf shield and this is a raven shield. Mm. It's three ingots. Let's go for the axis. I think... I can get you that one easy. Hmm. I would love to try that one too at some point. Yeah. This will serve you well. Nice. And then which one shall we upgrade? This? Yeah, it's a double hander, isn't it? All my pieces are good. But and that that's it. That's all we can do. Good. Ready for battle. I must take my leave. So long. Be well, my friend. Okay. Now let's see what we can upgrade in here. These are all upgraded to the max, this we cannot. So it's not better than what we have. Not at all. What does it do? Increase range damage when hitting enemies further than 20 meters away. Additional increase to speed. Oh, that might be good. Um, so this is rather, yeah, a hunter set. So if we um, use our bow a lot, a lot, then, hmm, 71. This is still better though. I'm not so sure if we should wield double axes with different um, different skill sets. Oh, that's what we upgraded. So this is a raven and this is a bear and we have a wolf. This is 62, 76, 50. Oh, that's upgraded. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> What's the best plan of action? Let's put it in there. Bone biter. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Huntsman Helm we have. And Huntsman Vembrace. I think, yeah, Huntsman set is, is complete. Okay, now we ran out of materials. 
Okay. Cool, cool. We have three of these. I think we can give them to... What's his name? To... Hytham? Didn't he want three, uh, three at once? We cannot build anything because we don't have any of uh, the... of the raw materials. You look well today, Evo. Ah, four, and we only have three. I have to go. Okay. Then go in peace. We need one more. Let's talk to Redda. Hello there. What do you have today? We have 88. Valkyrie cloak. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, night heron. Hmm. I will see you later, friend. See you later. Okay. Do we want to shop? You're just in time for new stock. Awesome. I would like to see what you have in stock. Ah, oh, I can buy, buy these, right? 150. Go on, give it a try. But that's some kind of cheaty. I think I want to have all the weapons, but honestly, I imported this with you in mind. Hmm. No. Is Thank you very everything? much. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. Okay. I won't. I'm a bit hurt. Let's take these berries. Okay, run me, I'm back. Oh, what do you want? Knut, what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor, we need your help. Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh. Okay. What is that? Ah, we can sit there. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Can what happened? Fast. Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Where are though? Which way now? This way. We're almost there. Okay. I don't see anybody. Come on, Eivor. Can't you run any quicker? Knut, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. Uh-huh. We have been to that house already. I think he did it. Shh, she's... You did it. You brought Eivor. Good work, Knut. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh, that is not the sound of a dog, Ira. 
That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. A Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There's no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. Okay. She could be starving. Poor her. Weird. Where? She's crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. Find a way to free the wolf. Where's the wolf? Where are the other kids? Oh, is the wolf in there? This house needs a key. If I'm lucky, there's one nearby. Ah. The children must have missed you, poor fellow. Or well, they might be singing a different song. It looks like something attacked you. An animal. No key here. I should look around. Okay. So somebody died here. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> and I'm running in a board. Burn board! And leave the kids alone, okay? <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> the chicken is awesome. No, the chicken is dead. It's a shame Wallace isn't here to butcher you. But I need to see if you're carrying a key. Oh. And there it is. Along with your last meal. Oh. Did... Did... Wait. Who had the key? The boar or the hen? <laughs> I don't know. Huh. I'll free that wolf. And pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. Where is it? The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. The guy big there? Hunter's Journal. There's no safety in alliances with savages and Dane outsiders. Despite my warnings, they invite Viking strangers in our village and mingle with the degenerates. Damn them all. I say if they will open their gates to those people, then they are shut to me. I'm happier to live alone in safety than in the chaos they have bred. Well, it wasn't that safe, was it? These skulls bear teeth marks. The wolf must have helped him take them down. Oh, so it's a tame wolf. Ah, there it is. The man liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Okay. Easy. Easy. You have a kind look to you, I think. The pup hanging about and begging for scraps is a decent hunting dog. I have slain more wolves in my time than I care to count, but this one seems to have been away from her pack long enough that she has lost her wilder and crueler instincts. If she proves herself useful, I may even give her a name. Let's see. Wait, wait, easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. <laughs> now you're not anymore? Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it is time to get you three back to the settlement. Before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone, you understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. <laughs> yes, 
But there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. <laughs> not quite. But it's also very weird to say, I am very wise. <laughs> uh, more wolves! And not our new friend! Stand back! <laughs> oh, she helps! She's coming to save us! We love you! <laughs> Come on! Well, she's not doing much, to be honest. Let's not get her killed, shall we? Uh, which one is the aggressive you? Okay. Those roboty wolves. Don't run into my eggs. Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. The wolfka. What? The wolfka. It's like dog wolf. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? <laughs> the Wolfka. That has an absurd sound, just like all of this. She's our best friend. Hopefully. Now we need to get home. All five of us. I couldn't loot the wolves. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did. And we got a new friend. Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. <laughs> Will the wolf come into our village? Ah, there we go. Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned? Just until we get home? Yeah, and it's not a good idea to trust wolves. <laughs> Where's home? I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, alright? Now scamper off home and take your new friend with you. Man's best friend? What? Sick your wolf on an enemy. Oh, she's with me now? Oh, crazy. I thought she would be with the kids. But hey, I don't complain. Can I pet her? No. Okay. Let's see if somebody wrote a letter. A message has come. Oh, yeah. Letter from Kowolf. Eivor. I pray this letter finds you well and my son. Colbert has written me a few times now, often in so much detail, it is as though I'm there. He admires you, trusts you. It warms my heart to know he has some someone to look up to. I know you will do right by him. As for myself, I have settled nicely in this new role. My court is behind me and I have the people's loyalty. For the first time in a long time, Mercia is stable. 
It's thanks to you. King Kyovov the second. Awesome. I think there's nothing new. Nope. And we don't need to sleep. Okay. Let's talk to Randvi. Oh, I can talk to him Good day, too. Eivor. Jailbird. Getting used to us yet? Yes, indeed. Your people have been so hospitable. And Ranvi has taught me so much about your tactics. Your approach to war. But not so much that you might use it against us. No. Heaven forfend. In spite of your invasive introduction to England, you have treated me and my father with kindness. I want this alliance to last. To mean something. I mean that. In truth, I think he does. Good. I'm glad you're fitting in, Jailbert. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you too. I did some work. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridgeshire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king. But that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbed, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls his friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandbridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Mm. Um, I guess so. We are brothers after all, don't we? But let's not escalate. <laughs> I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal, but I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough. But it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open. And I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. I don't know why he's so hostile all of a sudden. That is weird. Huh. If you're not yet drunk, you should be. This is a feast and a celebration of Sigurd's leadership. Enjoy it! Just as I thought, you're- Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? 
Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me! Does this stir your thirst for battle, Randri? What was that? Oh, I gained raw materials. There is awesome. nothing for now you here build. but death! Who is my enemy? And who is my friend? They all look the same. Oh, the dog! <laughs> the, the wolf da wolf uh, wolf dog oh man thanks what is that I hate the shaking the shaking oh he throws axes. Don't do that. Dang. <laughs> Use your shield. that Ooh, we are burning the village is burning die you are a friend oh dang oh now they are marked <laughs> oops <laughs> he flew away <laughs> Awesome. Oh no, this ran me! Oh, they are all ready dead. Come on! Oh, I fire! Burn! Don't move so fast! Dang, he hits hard. Your plan is as weak as they claim. We will pick its bones. You've seen nothing of our strength. You are dead. You will meet only death there. Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But the none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one. <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find an ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from, and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound, scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more, who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Uh, no. <laughs> May there be one who mourns you at home, for we will not. Eivor, I could have sent my scouts to follow him home. 
We might have learned something. The price of such disrespect is death, Ranvi. Just as Sigurd would have done. I cannot devise a strategy if my advice is ignored. To let that man live would announce to the world that we are soft and cowardly. Now these wayward Danes know to fear us. Forgive my haste, Ranvi, but Dag is right. For once you see clearly. I beg the gods that it continues. We should clean this mess and move the bodies from the camp. Agreed. Then we talk of our next steps, together. Okay, uninvited guests. No new letters. Hmm. Let's see. We got some raw materials, so maybe we can build something. That would be cool. Wouldn't it? I want to build the hunter. Who is our hunter? What do we do here? Well, he's a hunter. I have to go. See you soon. Hope to see you again soon. Or... Did we have another thing that we wanted to have desperately? We have 110. And, uh... Maybe we should build first all the level 1 stuff. But... No, I want to have that. <laughs> Oh no! Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles, and you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Yeah, but, uh, a second. I do not have the time right now, but I will return. Yeah, uh, I forgot something. Legendary animal trophy. I wanted to build the museum. This is the most important thing. And I hope I have enough. Please, please, let me build the museum. <laughs> I want to have a museum so badly. Okay, here we go. Whew. Ridiculous and awesome at the same time. Uh huh. Now let's see what we can do here. Most probably nothing. Hmm. I suppose it will do for the moment, though it lacks the grandiosity of the Empire at its peak. You don't like it? It's not that. It's just not terribly Roman. It needs more. More relics, more statuary, more. Room. If ah. you happen to find any distinctly Roman artifacts on your travels, bring them by. I hear we can make something of this mess yet. Yeah, we can get rid of those artifacts and maybe he does something with them so that they look like actual artifacts. At the moment they look all the same. Letter from Octavian's very real lover. To my sweet scented little Hesop. My darling Octavian, I was shocked to read your letter. Your new friends do not believe that I exist? Do they think 
that you make it your business to invent far faraway lovers when you have so many nobler and more compelling persuades? Well, I say let them think whatever they like. I am as real as you are handsome and I cannot wait to finally arrive in the settlement and show them all how genuine and corporal I am. In the meantime, continue adding to the finest collection of all things Roman in the land and keep, keep being as wonderful as you always are. I will see, see you as soon as I am able to make my way over. She will, yeah. The handwriting is very similar to Octavian's. Oh man, poor guy. <laughs> he has to invent a girlfriend. Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I have seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. Eivor, have you ever been in love? Why do you ask? I wonder if you know the feeling of having your very heart pulled from your chest as it pursues the elusive object of your desire. I wonder if you have ever known the bitter agony of seeing your beloved in the arms of another. I have known such a pain, and Maximus was its source. One of your lovers. Oh, God, no! No, no, no! Maximus is a snake and a leech. A slime-encrusted, blood-sucking viper of a man. He stole from me, my beloved, a perfectly preserved statue of a legionnaire. It is all I desire in this world. Last I heard, Maximus was holed up in and around London, holding my beloved captive, leering and pawing at it, no doubt. If you should ever see him, give him my regards. By that, I mean spit on him, then recover my statue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ah, here, I can give him the artifacts. Let's here you see are. what happens. More relics for your collection. Let me see what you have. Wonderful. And here is something for you. Bring me more like this. We get schemes. Okay. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Bonum fortunum in your travels, Eivor. But what can we do with those then? Put them here? Doesn't seem so. Huh. Maybe it's just decoration for the village as such. Like here? Yeah. I don't know about that. Huh. Well, let's leave it here for now. But, yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's weird. Let's talk to that hunter. So they all have a quest if I build their houses. Here. Ah, first read the letter. Story from Petra. Four weeks ago, I was out with Janle searching for rabbits. Not far out in northern wood, found many rabbit scraps and skins and bones, clearly work of wolves. Our traps mostly empty, save one buck caught probably that morning. Janle and I remained close, avoiding wolves. Saw movement in bush, thought it was a wolf caught in one of our traps. Yet for Janle to ensure she did not approach. Suddenly, beast emerges from bush. Scale similar to bear cup, but ears gave it away. Rabbit, impossible size. Huge! It saw me and immediately ran, faster than lightning. Janle also witnessed. In bush, saw destroyed trap. Nothing could have caught this creature. Wellus could have made entire code from its pelt. Could be a forest god. Need bigger knife. Well, uh huh. Weird story. What is to-do list? Ask Gunner for a new scraper. Collect pine bark in Western Forest. Check with Petra about next week's hunt. Remind Knut not to ship in the piss pot. Uh, to shit, not ship. Hello, Eivor. Uh, let's first grab her quest. Petra, good day. Ah, oh, you're back. 
Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area, and once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. Okay. Can I go with you later, though? I do not have the time right now, but I will return. I mean, we could do a village quest, but first, I want to speak to him. Beautiful, beautiful. Nature is amazing. Ooh. Okay, legendary animals can be found throughout the world. The lock will update when an animal is discovered or when it has been slain. Returning its trophy to Velos will grant you many rewards, including a memento of the victorious hunt. Okay. Hunt down legendary animals and deliver the pals to receive a reward and a hunting trophy in the longhouse. How do we get the hunting Happy trophy? Happy to say I've refreshed my stocks. Ah. Hundred deliveries. May I see your stores? But how do I get the... Ah, it is now in the longhouse. I do now. nothing. What's that? I brought something for you. Oh. As your settlement grows, so do its needs. Offer the gods needed goods needed for delivery and you will be amply rewarded. Uh, we always have need for this. Deer hoof and reindeer antler. Deer hoof and wild boar tusk. I've none of these things. Bringing me this would be helpful. But I do have a ton of things. Do we have anything? <laughs> I'm looking for this. I'm sure I have an animal this bone. This would be a great help. Oh, I can put them in. So we do have the yellow ones. Okay. Um, but there's nothing. Ah, I could this really one. use this. Excellent. Delivered. Okay. Elka doesn't even have a, ya a hut I'd yet. Pay well for this. So we do them just on the way. Nothing else. Cool. I must take my leave. So long. Happy hunting. Thanks to you too. Now, should we do that village quest to end the episode? What would be the other option? A new home. Yeah, build. Um, that we do anyway. Red is looking for help to grow Thurston as network. We do anyways. We need her house though. Uh, the Huntress and Rivalry for Ages. Fine, talk to Maximilian. Yeah, but uh, we don't go to London yet. Right? What's our next next region? Or what do we do next in general? 190, 250, 130. Ah, that Oxenfordshire we can do. Ah, East Anglia. That's where those uh, aggressors came from. Okay, so East Anglia would be next then, I think. Then in that case, let's do one village quest, quest which is that one. Petra, good day. Ah, oh, you're back. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around, just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Right, Come not, this way. No big deal, though. Okay. Go 
Come on. Now we have to walk? No. <laughs> Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Yeah, yeah, Come. I see them. This way. But ah, smell wolves that. Don't steal. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. Uh huh. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Oh. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Mm-hmm. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. It's a pig. Ah, well, see those not. teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. Maybe it's a deer. So your family found Wallace in the woods. We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, oh, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. It's pretty wet here. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. I think we found our wolves. You there. Get to cover. Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. Okay. Very exciting. They killed all the sheep. Careful, they're aggressive. What you don't say. <laughs> wolves that are aggressive? Never heard of that. Okay, you handle these two. I handle this. Let's eat. I mean, she might be a good tracker, but she's not a good hunter. This wolf wasn't even hurt. Okay. Ah, that should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear... Oh! 
Oh, goodness gracious me! What? Felix, Rosemary, my beauties! You're alive! <laughs> Come here, my <laughs> precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Eivor. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. Okay. Well, he has two sheep at least. Great. Huh. And there was this... This pack of huge rabbits in the background the whole time. That was very weird, but they are gone now. <laughs> ah, there! They're not that huge. They look so huge. <laughs> I think they're normal rabbits. Okay. Whew. I'm glad. <laughs> I thought we would be invaded by huge rabbits. Okay. That's it for this episode. I think we have to go back to the village, though, and talk to um, Rundvi again to check out what we do next. But I think it's, it's East Anglia. We'll see you in the next episode, though. Thank you so, so much for watching this one. Have a wonderful and adventurous day, and goodbye!